My darlings, cried Mrs. Fox, jumping up and hugging Mr. Fox. We couldn't wait. Please forgive us. Then she hugged the smallest fox of all, and Mrs. Badger hugged Badger, and everyone hugged everyone else. Amid shouts of joy, the great jars of cider were placed upon the table, and Mr. Fox and Badger and the smallest fox sat down with the others. You must remember no one had eaten a thing for several several days they were running out so for a while there was no conversation at all there was only the sound of crunching and chewing as the animals attacked the so succulent food. At last, Badger stood up. He raised his glass of cider and called out a toast. I want you all to stand and drink a toast to our dear friend who has saved our lives this day, Mr. Fox. To Mr. Fox, they all shouted, standing up and raising their glasses. To Mr. Fox, long may he live. Then Mrs. Fox got shyly to her feet and said, I don't want to make a speech. I just want to say one thing, and it is this. My husband is a fantastic fox. Everyone clapped and cheered. Then Mr. Fox himself stood up. This delicious meal began. Then he stopped it. In the silence that followed, he let fly a black. There was laughter and more clapping. This delicious meal, my friends, he went on, is by counters of Messrs. Buggies, Buns, and Bean. More cheering and laughter. And I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have. He let fly another colossal belch. Better out than in, the said Badger. Thank you, said Mr. Fox, grinning ugly. But now, my friends, let us be sorrows. Let us think to tomorrow. Think of tomorrow and the next day and the days after that if we go out we will be killed right right they shouted we'll be shot before we've gone a yard said badger exactly said mr fox but who wants to go out anyway let me ask you that. We are all diggers, every one of us. We hate the outside. The outside is full of enemies. We only go out because we have to, to get food for our families. But now, my friends, we have an entirely new setup. We have a safe tunnel leading to three of the finest stores in the world. We do indeed, said Badger. I've seen them. And you know what this means, said Mr. Fox. 
It means that none of us will need never go out into the open again. There was a buzz of excitement around the table. I therefore invite you all, Mr. Fox went on, to stay here with me forever. Forever, they shouted. My goodness, how marvelous, said Mr. Said Rabbit and Sav Rabbit said to Mrs. Rabbit, My dear, just think, we're never going to be shot at again in our lives. We will make, said Mr. Fox, a little or underground village with streets and houses on each side houses for badgers and mole and moles and rabbits and weasels and foxes and every day i will go shopping for you all and every day we will eat like kings the cheering that followed this speech went on for many minutes.